So how can you get one into cybersecurity within 90 days or less? That is the topic of today's video. In this video I will ask you three questions and your responses will help you to determine if you can pull this off in 90 days. Are you up for this challenge? So cybersecurity is one of those fastest growing tech careers out there and for good reason. It's really challenging, always evolving, offers a ton of variety and is one of the most lucrative information technology jobs on the market today. Hi, my name is Christoph Putz and I have over 22 years of IT experience. I'm a senior IT manager. IT is really my passion. I enjoy sharing my knowledge and my IT experience here on this YouTube channel with you. Whether you're attracted to the task and responsibility of helping to keep people safe from cyber threats, looking for more excitement and challenge in your work or want to have a stable tech career with a variety of options and opportunities, you're sure to find that in cybersecurity and that it is an amazing choice for your career. If you're wondering how to get into cybersecurity, it's likely not as difficult or out of reach as you may think. Cybersecurity is a field where skills can make up over degrees, meaning you don't necessarily have to have a bachelor's degree in computer science or an information technology degree to work in this field of IT. In fact, many cybersecurity professionals have no formal college degree at all, which actually includes myself. I got into IT using Microsoft IT certifications back in the day. Dedication and persistence, or translated, you will need a lot of grit to really succeed if you come without a college degree. So how do you train for a career in cybersecurity and, and how can you get into cybersecurity within 90 days or less? When I say 90 days or less, that really means that you can develop the necessary skill set to be able to apply for cybersecurity jobs towards the end of those days. If you are really good, you may even be able to land your first job or internship in cybersecurity during that time. Also, your studies will not stop at the 90 day mark. You're committed to this, right? You want to get into cybersecurity and it is a journey and your need to study will get a little less over time, but it will end on the day when you retire from that type of career. So what gets you there? So now we will talk about those three questions and then I will explain in more detail. So first of all, we talk about hands-on experience. Hands-on experience is the most important training tool for aspiring cybersecurity professionals. It's one of those key areas that several companies screen for when interviewing applicants and many prospective hires will fall short in those areas. If you only read and study and ignore the hands-on portion of this journey, it will probably take significantly longer for you. So how do you get hands-on experience at all? Well, fortunately, this can be a fairly simple fix. The do-it-yourself path is to build your own cybersecurity testing lab with old computers and then using online resources. Combine this with foundational computer knowledge and then related cybersecurity certifications and you will be good to go. If you are not able to run a home lab, consider renting an online virtual machine. I'm a big fan of a company called Vulture.com. I am actually a customer of theirs for several years. You can set up virtual Linux and virtual Windows servers and create create your own lab environment online. It's not really expensive. And if you screw up and make mistakes, with the click of a few buttons, you can revert back to a snapshot or reset the entire machine. And you are back to where everything was in a good operating state. So you can get away with probably less than $50 per month using Vulture. I will post the link in the description of this video below. So if you want to check them out, I highly recommend them. So let's talk about your time commitment. How much time are you willing to give to this? To get into cybersecurity 90 days or less, you will need to put in an appropriate effort and have a solid plan. You will need at least two hours, preferably more of time per weekdays and three, four hours, actually preferably four to six hours on weekends. The more time you can invest, the better you will be off. Potentially a bit more if you are having difficulties grasping some of these overall concepts. I know this is quite a commitment, but if you really want it, you can make it work. Compare three months of hard work and what the outcome could be. It is definitely worth it. So here's a suggestion of how to use this time most efficiently. As an example, get up 45 minutes earlier every day than normal and use that time for focused studies. Remember, this is for 90 days. It's not for the rest of your life. Also, the morning hours are really proven to be the most effective time for studying as your brain and mind is not yet occupied with the normal day-to-day -day stuff. Are you commuting to work? Are you driving, taking the bus, whatever? Great, this is perfect study time. Use podcasts or downloaded videos and listen to them while you drive to work or sit in the subway. 
I personally have a YouTube premium subscription that allows me to download videos. So that's what I use on longer drives. It has an advantage of not having to listen to advertisements actually too. Then lunchtime is another good study time. Eat and read. Then go home and spend time with your family or your pet. Relax. So then you take another 45 to 60 minutes after dinner to study. If you break your day into these chunks, you can easily get two hours or more of dedicated study time. Personally, I use the Pomodoro technique for focused study time. I will add a link down in the description below for you to check it out. It really helps with studying. What should you study to get into cybersecurity? Personally, I'm a big fan of using IT certifications as a way to study and learn and learn new things. You do not necessarily have to take the exams and uh, become certified, but you are more than welcome to do so. It will help you, it adds credibility to your resume. But if you follow these study guides for these certifications, it's really, really helpful. So let's have a look at really what is the remaining portion to get into cybersecurity within 90 days or less. So as an example, let's assume you have been working a help desk role for the last few months. Now you want to get into cybersecurity. My first question for you is how good are your networking skills? Do you know enough about networking, DNS, DHCP, network protocols and related ports, basic firewalling? If not, then your first task really is to fill these gaps. Networking is so critical. A solid understanding of networking is just so, so critical. I cannot remind you about it often enough. So this really applies to many other roles in information technology too. To fill any gaps you may have in networking, my recommendation really is to start studying for the CompTIA Network Plus certification. You do not necessarily have to take the exam as mentioned, but please do if you are up for the challenge. Personally, I care more about the studying and obtaining the necessary knowledge. It is that foundation building that is so critical. So now having a solid foundation built with your help desk related experience and the CompTIA Network Plus knowledge, now you can go full in on the next step. So one thing to remember, we are looking to get you into cybersecurity, but this is not putting you into your final role or area within cybersecurity. We really want you just to get your foot into the door. That is it. From there you can learn and decide which area within cybersecurity interests you most. This will really help you with the roles like information security analysts, cybersecurity analyst or other junior level roles of in information security. And while I often recommend CompTIA Security Plus certification, I want to lead you to a different certification today. Please check out the SSCP or the System Security Certified Practitioner certification. The SSCP certification is ideal for IT administrators, managers, directors and network security professionals. So this includes the following positions like network security engineer, systems administrator, security analyst, systems engineer, security consultant or specialist, security administrator, systems network analyst, database administrator. This certification provides a solid foundation for folks really trying to get into cybersecurity and that's you if I'm not mistaken. The reason why I like this certification is that it is also a great foundation for moving to the next level certification from them. I want you to consider the CISSP certification. CISSP stands for Certified Information System Security Professional. And that's the certification that is a gateway to a six-figure income in, in cybersecurity. CISSP comes from the same organization as the SSCP certification, so you know you will be playing in the right environment right there. I will place links to study resources below in the description of this video. So these steps can be your gateway into a fulfilling cybersecurity career. I will link to a YouTube playlist of mine where I discuss other cybersecurity topics and certifications. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.